Well, hello and welcome back. This is uh, video number two where we're going to show you how to set up your autoresponder campaign for CLB Learning. So the first thing I need to do is we need to be logged into the Conversion Pros. We showed you how to uh, sign up earlier. I'll just remind you from in your back office at the CLB Learning, you go to the Affiliate Toolbox, downline builder and here is where you can sign up for the conversion pros uh, it is 14 day free trial and then it's 50 dollars a month you will earn a 25 dollar commission from everyone who signs up under you from our clb learning system um, in the, once you've logged into the conversion pros you're going to see a, a menu down here under the tcp marketing suite we're going to click on the autoresponder and we're going to click on new campaign now I'm going to come over here to the CLB page where I have the codes listed. Uh, you'll also find the codes listed under this video. So we're going to come back here to the conversion pros and we're going to enter that share code right there. I'm going to end, call this label CLB learning leads. And I'm just going to copy that and paste that in my description and click save. Our campaign is set up and look at what we have. We have a list of 13 generic emails that are going to introduce your uh, readers to the contact list builder CLB Learning. You'll need to edit each of these messages to put your CLB information in here and make sure that your contact information is correct. So here we are. There's the information. Here is the sign up form. So we're going to need to change this sign up form right here and put Lana's ID because we're creating this page for Lana because it's a naked page and it gets to show you how you're going to do this. So there we've entered her ID number for CLB Learning on the link and we click save. So did you see what I did there? I highlighted the, I put my mouse on the link and then click this little wrench here or this little chain link and it brings up insert edit link in there. I was able to edit the IDs. Make sure you edit in both spots. Then you're going to come down here and it says your Skype ID. If you're going to add it, I believe hers is Lana Tucker. It's probably L Tucker. So that's what I'll put. Forgot to ask that one. But you know what? If you don't have Skype, you can just simply remove this Skype ID. Okay, so there we go. We could just remove that um, and I could say that, you know, connect with me with me on Facebook. My details are below and you could include your your um, Facebook link in your in your um, signature file. So here we are. Have a great day. Now, if I wanted, I could go here and I could add a picture and I do have Lana's picture saved. So I'm going to click here. I want to show you how to do this. It's important to um, personalize your emails. You'll see it puts the first name and last name, and then we would want to change the Skype ID or add our Facebook. There we go. And I'm going to add her picture. So I just put my mouse here in the space. I'm going to click on the insert image and now I need a source. So what I did is I just went to Facebook and I copied Lana's picture. So let me show you how to do that because it's a, a very quick way to get, whoops, so I'm just going to go to Lana's page. Oh, come on. <laughs> right. So when I go to her page, so you can do this to your page when you go to your, your page and you just right click on the image and click copy image address. And then you're gonna come back to the conversion pros and we're gonna put that picture right here. All right, now the width is good. So we're gonna save that and we're gonna click enter and bing bada boom, there's Lana's picture. Isn't that cool? And then we're gonna save that, um, save that email. We're going to come down here and we need to do that to each of these emails. All right, so I clicked edit on the second email. I recommend you write one to 13 down on a piece of paper so you can keep track. So here we go. You're going to read through here, join CLB, join contact list builder. 
So you'll see that's a link. I've got to change that link. I'm going to change that here to 9955. So you're going to put your ID where the 8 was. Save. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm just going to get rid of that. And uh, we'll put Lana's picture in here. I'm going to insert image. I already had it saved. And save. And there we go. Okay, so it's got her first last name. I might come down here and I'm going to put phone WhatsApp. And I'm going to put her phone number. And I think it's important that you put a way for people to connect with you. And I'm just going to put in here that it's in Canada because she is in Canada. Also important. And there we go. We're going to save that. And so you're going to want to go in to each of your emails. And Lana's going to have to come in here and, and uh, finish up her emails and make sure they're all correct. And so I clicked on the third one here and it brought it up here. And again, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change the link. And save it. I could enter the picture again. All right. We'll do it one more time. Click image. Your image source. So wherever your source is from, if you have an image on your blog or somewhere else, it needs to be online. So it needs to be a hosted image. And I'm going to save that image. And I'm going to put text WhatsApp 406 there we go. And we're going to save that. So we've done the first three emails. There are 13. You want to make sure that you edit each of those emails. Okay. Once that's done, and that's going to take you, this will be the most time it's going to take you setting up this system is editing these emails. All right. Everything else happens fairly quickly. So then once we're done that, all right, when you're finished editing all your emails, this is really, really important. You're going to come here and you're going to click campaign details and you'll see that this campaign is inactive. So we need to come here to status and click active. Otherwise, the emails will not go out to your subscribers. So we're going to click active and save. We are now complete adding our autoresponder campaign in the next video. We are going to create our capture page and landing page. We'll be back soon. See you in the next video.